Suppose you had an ounce of silver to sell. You could go to a coin dealer, you could pawn it, or put it up on eBay. But what if you had a hundred thousand ounces to sell? How would that work? We visited Endeavor Silver to find out. What we produce out of our mine, we produce two different products. One, we produce Dory Bar, which is about 96% pure silver and maybe 1% gold. And we also sell what we call concentrate, and that include, that's essentially a mud um, that includes silver and gold in it. They're very different processes. Concentrate is truckloads of black dirt, in essence, is, tr is sent down to a port in Manzanillo. We have two different brokers at the, at the port who handle the logistics of that concentrate. Once the concentrate arrives at the port, metal traders like Trafigura in Switzerland broker its sale to international smelters. They just pay us for the content. So they then will then process that concentrate and produce, um, pr produce pure metal. It arrives there, we get 100 tons, we lock down the price. We're given the medium price for the month after it's delivered. Or if our, the contract it stipulates, we can lock in at a fixed price. I know in some of the other brokers, there's a lot of sales going to China, a lot of sales going to India. It could get shipped over into Asia, South America, Europe, um, South Africa. The Doré, which we've been processing for, producing for quite a while, it is shipped from the mine site to a refiner. And in our case, we use uh, Peñoles in Torreon. It gets smelted and refined down to 99, actually what we call triple nines or four nines um, silver and four nines gold uh, from Torreon. And so you have these gold bars and silver bars there. Those get credit to our account in London. We never really take possession of a refined silver bar or a refined gold. And then we sell it through Oromet Trading on the London Exchange. Endeavour uses Oromet Trading in New Jersey to broker the sale of its refined silver on the London Stock Exchange. At Oromet we pretty well have material coming out every single week, so 50 to 60,000 ounces every week of silver and uh, 500 to 1,000 ounces of gold. When it gets credit to our account in London, we now know we have credit to go sell X number of ounces of silver. So say it's 100,000 ounces of silver. We pick up the phone and tell our broker, look, we're looking to sell 100,000 ounces of silver. Uh, this is what I want for these ounces. And so I give them a price. And um, then it can take an hour. It can take several days or a week. What's the current spot prices marked on the London Exchange right now? They'll give us a quote. Okay, you can sell for $24, we, for $24 an ounce. So as long as the price is going up, you can actually pick um, you know, a price that's, say, 50 cents uh, for silver above, above the market. We'll say, well, we'd like to hit a price at $24.50. They'll put that ask out there, and it, it typically can get taken out or it can't. You can never get the peak. Um, and so you always try and, what I try and do is, st is stage it, you know, you, you put some out at, uh, at one price and then you put some more out at a little bit higher. And so the broker will call us when, it, when in, uh, we see that it's driven up to that price. Uh, we'll say yes, execute, execute, it's sold, it's gone. Once we sell it to Oromet, they then, they will have normally have sold it about the same time to whoever is the end user. We use an intermediary to be able to go source A, not just the buyers, but the best buyers. It would be more difficult for the, for the miners to go out and try and find all, and you know, enough buyers to get all the material. They don't go out and seek a buyer as I would seek someone to come buy my, my iPhone. By selling it through a broker, uh, he, he's the one who's going to run around and find all the end users. So when you have these electronic credits and, and how it gets moved, you can move a lot more for a lot cheaper economies of scale rather than selling one ounce at a time. One of the things that we've uh, focused on is to try and get every dollar, every cent out of, uh, out of every ounce of silver. We're kind of price takers in the fact that the price is there, we can't go in and say, hey, we have a better product than everybody else, because everybody's triple nine or four nine silvers are all equal, it's a commodity. So we're price takers, we don't get to haggle, but we get to try to time when our sales are. Um, all, all really governed by exchanges.